Hi everyone! As you may already know, Krita 5 beta was released a couple of days ago. There are many great new features here, and if you haven't heard much about them, I already made a video about most of the changes made there, so go check it out if you haven't yet. To celebrate this occasion, I also prepared something special. I called it Krita 5 Starter Pack, and it's a free, very small bundle of 4 new brushes that are meant to show you the glimpse of possibilities that come with the updated painting engines. The first brush here is my new preset of general purpose. It creates a soft texture when pressed lightly by using the color dodge that was added to pattern molds. The two next ones are a presentation of height and burn molds. The last on the pack is this smudge brush that uses RGBA brush tip and hard mix pattern mold. You can download them for free once you get your copy of Krita 5 Beta. Note that they are Krita 5 specific, so they won't work in the stable release. Just as my other brushes, they're also rather performance heavy, so without a good computer, you may not be able to use them with big brush sizes. As I already covered the new features of Krita 5 in one of my previous videos, I still think I should explain a bit more about what in fact this beta release is. The most important thing here to remember is that beta shouldn't be considered a work in progress release. What I mean by that is that it wasn't released in the middle of development just to create some hype in social media. In Krita, beta means that two conditions were already met. Firstly, all the new features are finished for quite some time. But what's way more important here is that all the known regressions were already fixed. And by regressions, I mean the bugs that were not present in the stable release, but were brought with the new features. So does it mean that this beta is free of bugs and safe to paint? On the contrary. This release is a result of 4 years of creating risky, untested code and is probably full of new bugs. What's important here is that developers couldn't find any of them so far, so if you stumble upon one, you can't really assume that it's just beta and be sure it will be fine right away when you download Krita 5 soon. This may sound a bit scary at first, but don't worry as it's not that bad on the other hand. This release is not by any means some crap either, and even if those bugs will not be found and reported now, they surely will be fixed sometime after all those users will make the upgrade and hopefully also report the bugs. Why do I believe it's a good idea to check out this beta then? Just by spending a couple of minutes on trying it out, you can basically assure there are no nasty surprises that result from your specific workflow, computer specification or drivers. If there are, please start the discussion on Krita artists. If anyone can replicate your bug, you basically gain a guarantee that at least for you everything will work just expected on day one of Krita 5. No one will ever agree to release it with any known regressions unfixed. If you decide to help Krita Foundation, you can easily download beta. On Windows, I recommend to use portable zip, which won't make any changes to a stable release installed on your disk, and to create a backup of your resource folder. Then, once you're done, you can just remove this unpacked folder and be back at your current version. Now, that's all I wanted to say today. I wish you all a very non-problematic transition to Krita 5 and lots of fun with my new brushes and testing if you decide to participate. Cheers!